Hello everyone, welcome to Gory Live on the Vibe. Today we'll be meeting some performing artists and interviewing some organisers of the Gory Market House Festival. Today is the first day of the festival and joining me in studio is Gareth Hale from the Chamber of Commerce. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Do you think the festival will bring tourists to Gory over the next three days? That's the hope. It's been successful in the past. Uh, if the weather plays along, Gory Main Street is usually packed to the rafters, so fingers crossed for this year. What is your role in organising the festival? My role, uh, I work in the Chamber of Commerce, so I sit on the committee to try and liaise between local businesses and the organising committee to make as good a festival as possible. I also run the Market House Festival Facebook page as well, which is very popular and very busy. What events are you looking forward to in the festival? There's a lot of events, a lot of the photographic and art exhibitions I look forward to. Uh, We've a great lineup of music this year. Uh, one band in particular now on Sunday night, I, uh, myself and Killian Byrne, well, another committee member championed. It's a band called Crow Black Chicken, a blues rock trio out of Tipperary, who myself and Killian were both fans of, so we tried our damnedest to get them booked for the festival. And I don't think they'll disappoint because I've seen them live myself. When did you and your team start organising the festival? The festival, pretty much as soon as this year's finishes, preparations will start for next year. We had our first committee meeting would have been about four to five months ago, so there's a long time in preparation for this festival. Do you think the local shops will benefit from the festival? That's partly the idea. Give the people of Gori a good occasion, but also it has to benefit everyone, including business owners. Well, that's all we have time for. Thank you, Gareth, for taking time to come here today. You're very welcome. Earlier today, our Gory correspondent Zoe spoke with head librarian Hazel Percival. Welcome to the show, Hazel. Could you tell us about the important events happening in the library for Gory Market House Festival 2016? Hi, Zoe. Uh, thanks for uh, having me on the show. Uh, I'm delighted to be here. Uh, this year, uh, Gory Library is delighted to have Gory Photographic Club. Uh, exhibiting their, their, their photographs in Gory Library for the Market House Festival. Uh, the uh, Gory Photographic Club uh, have uh, 15 members and for the last few years they've taken the opportunity to, um, to exhibit their works uh, in the library and it's great to have them because it's great to have local people exhibiting their, their work and the work that, that they've been doing all year in the library. Do you enjoy taking part in the events of the festival? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's great because the library usually is open on Saturdays, but uh, for the August Bank holiday weekend, it, uh, it closes. So all the staff here, there, there are, are six pe people working in, in, in the library. And uh, we get the chance then to go, to go downtown to view the exhibitions. And uh, we can see the, the um, uh, historic exhibition that's been held at the Market House. Uh, there's loads of art exhibitions. Uh, there's one across the way from us here in the courthouse, uh, which is um, um, a photographic exhibition from a really famous photographer. So there's loads to do. And I think there's also a, a fun day up in the park tomorrow, it's, uh, Saturday afternoon. So I'm really looking forward to that. It's the first time I've been up there, so I'm really looking forward to it. Thank you, Hazel, for your time and the use of the library for our programme. No problem. Thank you. It's been great to be here. Today, our roving reporter, Rebecca, asked members of the public what events they were looking forward to in the festival. Good weather and lots of activity for children. Free there you pizza. Go. I'm actually working this weekend. <laughs> Sorry. Um, music. Um, I'm looking forward to the music. Meeting up with friends and having a good time. Well, I'm on duty in civil defence, so I'll be on duty. Today Rebecca interviewed John Timmins from the Gory Photographic Club who has work displayed in the Festival Photographic Exhibition in Gory Library. Hi John, welcome to the show. Hi, how are you doing? Grand. When did you start taking photographs? Um, I suppose I always took photographs, but I suppose more seriously I started taking photographs about maybe six or seven years ago. What do you like about taking photographs? Um, well, I take photographs for myself. I don't take photographs really for other people. I like to, um, if I'm taking pictures of people, I like to take, to get the essence of a person, that you really get a feel for what that person is like, not just a snapshot of a person. So you have to get the expression. And if I'm taking a picture of, say, a landscape, I want it to be, to feel as if you're actually there in the landscape yourself. Can you tell us a bit about the photograph exhi exhibition in the library for the festival? 
Well, the photographic exhibition is by Gory Photographic Club, and we're just a bunch of um, uh, photography enthusiasts, and we just love to take pictures and make images. And this is our one main show for the year. So what we do is, um, Hazel and the team in the, in the library very kindly allow us to exhibit our photographs as part of the Market House Festival. So it's a chance for us to show what we do during the year and the different styles and the different people um, that are taking photographs in Gory. Can you give us some words of encouragement for our young photographers in Gory? I think that the, the, the most important piece of advice I would say is go out and take photographs. You know, people ask what's the best camera to use. The best camera is the camera you have with you. And it doesn't really matter whether it's an iPhone, whether it's a super duper professional camera, or whether it's a, a, a kind of a holiday camera. Get out there and take photographs. Um, a very famous um, golfer used to say, the more he practiced, the luckier he got. So the more photographs you take, the better they'll be, and you get a sense of what you want to get out of photography. So get out there and do it. Do you know how old you were when you first started taking photographs? When I very first started taking photographs would have been, I suppose I would have used a camera when I was maybe seven or eight. Um, that would have been taking pictures on family holidays. Uh, that was a long time ago though. <laughs> well, thanks for coming. We enjoyed you today, John. Thank you very much. I enjoyed being here. Also today, Abby interviewed Sarah Gibson, one of the organisers of the Bad Festival in the town park today. Welcome to the show, Sarah. Thank you. Could you tell me about some events that are happening up at the Bad Festival? Well, up at the Bad Fest today, we're going to have music playing from local artists around Gory. Um, that's going on from 12 to 6 tonight. And uh, we have a kids' corner where there's loads of activities for the younger kids. There's artists up, there's an um, art expedition up in the changing rooms, up in the showgrounds. And as well, the artists are coming out to paint on the walls to, to just brighten up the park and make it more a you know, friendly place to visit. Uh, there's going to be a tuck shop, there's face painting, there's loads of different activities going on today. So, uh, yeah, it's... What do you mean by bad when you call it the Bad Festival? Um, the Bad Fest is, stands for banter and dance. Uh, we came up with the name one day in one of our meetings when we were just throwing words at each other. And when we came up with banter and dance, we were actually only messing at first. And then we, we came to like the idea of the Bad Fest because it kind of sounds, you know, just interesting. <laughs> Have you enjoyed working for this event? Yeah, I loved it. It was a great opportunity and it was very interesting the whole time. And, you know, we came, made great friends, uh, everyone working on the festival with us, and I really did enjoy it. So, hopefully, we'll do it again. <laughs> Thank you for talking with us. No problem. Thank you very much. Continuing on from the Bad Festival, Saturday is a family day with food and music from 2 to 5 in the park. On Friday, Shull In and the $5 Shakes will play from 7 30 on the main stage. On Saturday, Cry Before Dawn and the Wild Turkeys will also play 7.30 on the main stage. Next up, Caitlin will interview Joey from the Wild Turkeys who will play on Saturday. Hi Joey and welcome to the show. Hello, thanks for having me. So, Joey, you're in the Wild Turkeys. What instrument do you play and can you tell us a bit about it? Um, well, I play the guitar and uh, I also play the bazooki. Um, <laughs> the... Um, there's not much to tell about the guitar, but uh, the bazooki is a, is a Greek instrument uh, I picked up uh, maybe two years ago. I'm still actually learning how to play that. Um, the guitar, I uh, started playing that maybe 15 years ago. Oh, okay. What do you like about playing in the band? Um, honestly, the crack. Um, it's just the people I play with, they're all mad in the head, and it's just, we're always joking. And, what kind of music do your band play? Um, at the moment, we uh, kind of play pure traditional, um, mostly kind of Lunasa tunes. They're kind of like our favourite uh, trad band to play off of. Um, so a lot of Lunasa, maybe some Grada. Um, typically, at the moment, we don't really, there's no singing in the band. I don't sing, because I can't sing. 
But uh, no, we just kind of stick to pure trad. Can you give some words of inspiration and encouragement to our younger musicians in Gori? Um, yeah, uh, if you uh, if you want to play trad, just just don't give up. I mean, I uh, when I first started playing, I kind of gave up and put the guitar aside for for a year because I kind of hit a wall and um, came back to it and just just keep going and you will get better. Um, I'm still learning the guitar at the moment. Like I mean, there's a lot of a lot of hard tunes out there. It takes a while to learn. Thank you for taking part in live on the vibe. I enjoy talking to you. Thanks for having me. Earlier today, I spoke to Sergeant Stephen Ennis about safety in the festival. Welcome to the show, Stephen. We're very happy to have you here. Thank you, Abby. So, are you concerned about the safety of the public at the festival? Uh, no, we're not concerned. We, the Angarda Siakana, working in conjunction with Wexford County Council, have put a lot of effort into making sure that the uh, events over the weekend are planned safely and that the safety of the people of, of Gorey and the people of visiting Gorey for the weekend is our number one priority. What kind of police presence will be at the festival? There'll be a large police presence. Um, there'll be uh, high visibility. There'll be people with, um, you know, there'll be undercover guards. There'll be road traffic police, and there'll be people on the policemen and women on the beat in the in the main street when the music events are on. Do you and your team ever find it hard to make sure everyone is safe at all times? I suppose it's, it's hard to make sure everything, everybody is safe at all times, but we do our best to make sure that um, the most eventualities are catered for. What advice would you like to give to the young people of Gorey for the next three days? Just to, when you say young people, we're talking about people between 5 and 12 years of age to make sure they stay safe, stay with their parents. Um, if, this, if they do become separated from their mountain like that, Make sure that they, they present themselves to a member of Angarda Siakana who will have a, a, a fluorescent jacket um, and their hat on and, and uh, address any concerns they have with them. Okay, that's all. Thank you for taking your time to talk to us today. No problem at all. You're welcome. Unfortunately, that's all we have time for today. On desk was Caitlin. Our reporters were Rebecca, Abby and Zoe. Our editors, Abby and Caitlin. Our team leaders, Tony, Mayte and Una. I've been Abby and I hope you enjoyed the show and have a great festival.